Hey guys, so I'm filming this in my bathroom. I am not too sure how this is going to come out, but I'm going to give it a try. And if it works good, maybe I'll, you know, I'll venture forth and do some other bathroom videos like get ready with me <laughs> or something. But um, I I'm really super excited about this one product that I got. Now, let me just backfill for those of you that are new to my channel. I have extremely thin hair. And um, my hair has been thinning more over the course of time as I've gotten older. And the thinning is sort of like in the front, in the part area. And I've always been embarrassed because like if the wind blows or whatever in your hair, you know, it's like you can really see some of the thinning spots. So I um, recently got approved from the Oculi website to do product reviews, which I'm super excited about that opportunity. And I really owe it all to you, my subscribers and my viewers, because to get approved from Oculi, your video does have to have a thousand views and, um, and consistently. And so, you know, I finally got approved. So thank you all so much. And what I like about the Octoly website is you can actually choose some of the products that you have a major interest in reviewing. And one of the things that I've had an interest in reviewing is the top pick. Now, I got mine in light brown. So I submitted to Octoly to review this. And of course, the brand also has to approve you, which they did. And so they sent me this free for me to review my honest opinion. So I have thinning hair. Many of you know that. If you've been watching my channel, you know I've talked about thinning hair. I've done a lot of wig reviews. I've done a lot of things of that nature. So I have very thinning hair. And my thinning hair is, you know, in the front. And I'm going to try, I don't know, you know, how much of this you're going to see. Um, I'm just going to try to show you some of my, you know, my hair has been washed, but it really hasn't been styled. So I'm not too sure how much of this you're going to get to, to really see that good in the video. But especially near the bang area, I have two cowlicks, is that what you call them? And I have a widow's peak and I have a cowlick in the back. So my hair never sits right. But this topic has really intrigued me, viewers. I've seen other folks review this. And th they had thick hair. And I kept thinking, well, you know, it looks beautiful with their thick hair, but how is it going to look with my thin hair? Is it going to add fibers? What is it going to do? What you do is you you open it up and um, it's a sprinkle, sprinkle like this, and they say you sprinkle it by your part area, which I'm going to do, or the area wherever your hair is light. So I want you to get a good look at what this looks like now. some flakies. So it's probably hard to see because in reality the light, the it's the part, it's this area right here that's bad. So that's the area I'm going to start with. Now I'm going to sprinkle it. It says to sprinkle it along those areas that you don't want the part to show as much. So I just sprinkled it out. I have sorry, I have to look in the mirror. <laughs> so and I haven't really gone into the back because I have my fake little bun thing up there, but I can almost see what almost looks to me like like I have thicker hair than normal. So, you know, here where I spr where I sprinkled it, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But where I sprinkled it all near my, my part area here, it really looks good, I think. I think it looks good. And leave you the full description of this product hair building fibers. So I'm not seeing any kind of, you know, it's, it's probably these little tiny fibers are darkening my scalp slightly so that you don't see the thin spots because my thin spots, the really bad thin spots are all right here. 
this is where you know where I'm really super super conscious so I could actually wear my hair up totally off my forehead without it looking like I have like a um, a bald spot here what do you think I think I can uh, you know make you know probably wear my bun up of course it would take some a little bit more creative uh, a creative look but I think I can do that I think I can get away with it so I and I haven't even like teased this if I was gonna tease my hair which I normally would I would tease it up you know I would normally give it a little tease then I would I also have the uh, Hot Steps 22 that I use a lot but uh, I really like the style and shake this gives me a lot of texture I'll spray this on my hair and my hairdresser asked me to try the Redken Quick 15 Tees. So when I went and I had my hair cut last week, she gave me this to take home. She had been using it. She just wanted me to try it and see what I thought. So I've tried it a few times and I haven't reported back to her. But I tell you, I, I think I really like my shake, my hair shake, my J Joko, Joko hair shake that she gives me, or I shouldn't say gives me, I buy better than the teas but this is a winner this is a keeper for me I I cannot tell you how pleased I am I know it's an illusion it's not like it's really given me thick hair or really given me full hair or anything of that nature so it's a pure illusion but I'll tell you I really like it and even though this was sent to me free I know I can buy this at Sally's, I can buy this on Amazon, Amazon, I can buy it pretty well anywhere. I will tell you, I am going to buy it because, gosh, 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 those are my thin areas and they don't look thin whatsoever. So I kind of... I kind of futzed around with the top a little bit, but um, I didn't even have to sprinkle any more of this. I think my hair looks absolutely fine the way it is, and I have my two little buns. My hair is still too short to um, to keep it up easy, so I use, have to use a lot of pins, so I'm going to just show you the back a little bit better. So one of these days, my hair will be long enough that I can actually twist it up into the ponytail without losing a ton, you know, having a ton of it fall out. The other thing I wanted to, to mention to you is that um, I had, um, yeah, I was really good on Black Friday, as most of you know from my previous vlog, I didn't buy anything on Black Friday. And that was because I had placed a Sephora order and I had also placed a uh, Timeless skincare order when I spent a lot of money on Timeless. And I'll show you that when it comes in. But in my Sephora order, I had bit the bullet and I had bought myself the Viseart, Viseart Amethyst Palette. And um, I will tell you, I mean, according to the color charts, purples are not supposed to be what I'm supposed to be, you know, wearing. But I have always, always, always gravitated towards the, the purples and these colors, and I absolutely love them. So I, I bit the bullet and I got this palette, I ab and I absolutely loved it. I um, also, because I wanted to have more of a neutral look at times and maybe stay away from the purples a little bit, I ended up buying the champagne. It was on back order, as was my amethyst, but it came in really quick. And these are the colors of the champagne. Now, on this palette, I debated between the champagne and the minx, because the minx sounded really good too. But on this palette, I really love how these eyeshadows blend on my eyes. I really, really do. I think they, they, they're really awesome. They, they're, they're so much, the fallout is like almost zero compared to some of the other eyeshadows I've used. So what I ended up doing, because I can't seem to get both my eyes to look the same as they are not looking the same right now, 
um, I ended up was watching uh, Tammy from Uppies Beads and, and I asked her a question and she said to me what I should do is take a, a shadow color and put it all over sort of as a base and then you can also do a primer and then apply my shadow. So I actually tried that today and I used this palette. So what I did is I took the, the lighter shade and I put it all over my eyelid as my base. Then I put a little bit of an eyelid primer on top of that, let it dry, and then I went in with the, the medium brown right here, which is very pigmented for me, anyways. For someone like me, it had a lot of pigment. I don't know if this is going to show at all. So for me, this, yeah. This, this for me is a lot, guys. For you, it might be like she's crazy. But for me, it was a lot. So I uh, went into the outer V area and then into the crease with my brush. And I tried to blend that in a little bit. And they're not even, but I actually think I blended it better than I've done in the past. So thank you for that tip to Tammy. I'll link her channel. I'm sure you all know who exactly she is, but I'll link it anyways. But I really like this. You've got the three satins and then you've got the, I mean, the three, I don't know, mattes, creams, and then you've got the satins or the shimmers on the other side. So I really thought this was beautiful and that was my my indulgence on, on those eyeshadows. So now I am the proud owner of two Vizia, I gotta figure out how to say that. Shadows. They're not cheap, guys. So that's it for me. I'm not buying another another eyeshadow no matter what. But uh, yeah, so I love, I love those shadows. So I think the sun's coming in now in the back here, so this might not be a great filming spot once the sun goes on that side of the house, which is now happening. But um, on another note, I did want to just thank you all so much again because your support means a lot to me and I appreciate every single one of you watching the videos. I did want to say that on my vlog video, I kind of ended that video, some, some people picked up on it, I kind of ended that video on, um, it was like just a funky ending. Um, what had happened on Thanksgiving Day when we came home and around 1.30 in the morning, Friday morning, my dad had taken a bad fall and he couldn't get up. So they called me. I live maybe five minutes away from my folks. They called me and left a message. Um, then they called my cell phone and left a message and they didn't hear anything back. And then my mom went on Facebook and she sent me a direct message saying that Papa had fallen and could I come help? And they didn't hear anything back. And then she went to where one of my albums, my Thanksgiving album was, and she left a message under one of the pictures asking me if I was coming. I didn't get the message until about 4 o'clock, 4.30 in the morning. And it's heartbreaking to think that my parents needed me. And I'm not trying to, I'm trying hard not to beat myself up because I know I can't. But it's heartbreaking to think that my parents needed me and I wasn't there for them. So life can definitely change in a heartbeat. It really, really can. So if you could all spare a prayer for my dad, I know he's gonna be okay. He's got some health issues this last year, but the fall cost him five ribs. He's got five broken ribs, and between his bone condition that he has, um, the five broken ribs is not a good thing. So if you could spare him a prayer, I would truly appreciate it. And. I'm sorry if I kind of abruptly ended that last video in such a downer, but um, yeah, so thank you. Thank you all so much for being there. I truly appreciate you all.